Let's balance this equation. The equation is KClO3 goes to KCl plus O2. So what we do, what we can do first is we can make two columns and we will list all of the elements in our rows. So we have K and K. We also have Cl and Cl. And we also have oxygen. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write how many atoms of each element I have right now. So if there is no number next to your element, that means there is a one. So K is one, Cl is one, and oxygen here is three. K is one, Cl is one, and oxygen here is two. Right now, you can see that K is the same, which means for now it is balanced. Cl is the same, which means for now it is balanced, but oxygen is not balanced. And the way we will balance an equation is we will add coefficients, so we will add numbers in front of our substances uh, in order for atoms of all the elements to be equal. So how can we have this oxygen be equal? Here it is 3 and here it is 2. What we can do is we can multiply the left side by 2 and we can multiply the right side for oxygen by 3. So 3 times 2 is 6. So this is no longer 2, it is now 6. And here oxygen is 6 as well. However, because I added a 2 here, the number of K atoms and Cl atoms changed as well. The coefficient gets distributed throughout the molecule. So the compound. So how many potassium atoms do we have? How many K? So now we have two because two times one is two. And what about Cl? We have two as well. And here we have one and one. So now we have a problem. How can we fix it? We need K and Cl to be two, but they're one. So what do we do? We add a two in front of here. So instead of one, now we have two Ks and we have two Cls. My K is balanced, my Cl is balanced, and my O is balanced as well, which means that this equation is balanced. Everything is equal.